strong eye. I'm coming. There's one movie you got to see over this holiday week where we're going to celebrate my birthday on the 3rd, but also Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> Quick mention. <laughs> we got to mention that out. And also on Independence Day on the 4th, you got to see the movie that's starring these beautiful people that's sitting in our room right now. DB, would you like to do the honors? All right. Well, uh, this morning when I came in, our intern Andrew over here, he was like, Oh, Elon's coming in. Daniel from Insecure. I was like, what the hell? So that was probably one of the first times he ever got excited about a guest. So he's happy to see uh, one of you that are here today. The other one is here. She she played Tony Braxton in the biopic that's out. Uh, she's got another movie that's out as well, Superfly. Mm-hmm. And now both of them are in the upcoming film, The First Purge, the prequel to the Purge franchise in theaters July 4th. Please welcome Elon Noel and Lex Scott Davis. Hey, Woo! hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. Well, good morning, Thank you guys. For having us good and happy having early birthday. Thank yeah, you bro. very much. <laughs> when, it, it, when I look in your face, I see Tony. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I should see my mom. You should see your mom? Yes, they are like twins. They're like twins? T- Tony even said the same thing when I showed her a picture when I first met her uh-huh. and showed her a picture of my mother. And she was like, oh, wow. Oh, okay. She got that, right? <laughs> yeah, she was like, oh, okay. You know, it's interesting. We just saw this documentary last night. We're actually going to talk to the makers of the Whitney Houston documentary, right? And then uh, we realized how iconic, you know, Whitney was in this music business. Uh, and she's no longer with us. But to be able to play somebody like Tony Braxton, who's still with us, right. young, yeah. vibrant, mm-hmm. fresh, uh, maybe not even halfway through her career, yeah. uh, what were your concerns? Like, you could, th- I'm a, like a big fan of hers, and I was hoping you didn't mess it up. Exactly. Well, okay. Me too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Me too. I had the same concerns as everyone else. And mm-hmm. of course, when our pictures of the cast got released, um, way or we didn't even shoot the movie yet when the pictures got leaked. And just to see the feedback from people and the, you know, she don't look like her, or she, she, too light or mm-hmm. you know all of these things and i was just like i was feeling the weight of everyone to own up to the legendary tony braxton uh-huh. but i mean the fact of the matter is i am a firm believer and there is nothing in my path that god says i can't do so if i am in this position and was and earned this role then that means i am highly capable and i had to change my perspective mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the minute i changed my perspective and definitely stopped reading comments because that's important for entertainers you probably shouldn't read it yeah um you know it just clicked and the nuances and everything just flowed it, it worked better than i think we all even tony ourselves probably anticipated uh-huh. yeah i love you hearing i like when people keep their spiritual roots involved exactly. with their profession uh, so i can appreciate that yeah. right there and you don't read the comments no hmm mm-hmm. yeah why at all well because that was my first big gig ever yeah so I never been in the position to have people leaving comments about me. Yeah. And so I'm looking at them, and I learned so very early on in my career. I was like, oh, no, we're not going to read that. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's tainted that. to the soul right there. Yeah. You don't yeah. want to know. What least, about, like, reviews or anything like that, like critics? Um, not, I don't really – I don't know about you. Thing, yeah. yeah, I don't really – no. Yeah, got to keep your mental it's hygiene really right. not any of, yeah. of our business, what people think about that's us true. necessarily. Hmm. Just got to do the best work that you possibly can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know what, Lex? It had me thinking um, when you're talking about getting some criticism just from the way you looked off the surface. Zoe Saldana was the same thing with Nina Simone, some other yes. folks before. Like to you, how important is it really to look like the person you're going to portray? Do we make that bigger than it should be? I think I don't think it matters um, as long as you are capturing the essence of the person. Yeah. As long as when they enjoy and watch the film, they don't see the actress. They see the person the film is about and are able to just listen to the story. Just like we, our jobs are to tell you the story. Just enjoy the story. Mm-hmm. It's not necessarily it, we're no we're not cloned. We're not, you know, we're not going to look exactly <laughs> like the person. Although sometimes it happens and it, it does happen well. Shout out to Woody McLean. That's my homie who's right. playing Bobby. Uh-huh. They actually do kind of resemble. So in, in things, unique instances like that, then okay. But I don't think it's fair for audiences to judge the appearance of the actor when really that is not our job to look like the person. If we just look like the person and couldn't act and didn't have the chops to capture the essence, then you also have something negative to say. Facts. Yeah. Let me ask you this, Elon. Uh, is it Elon or Elon? It's Elon. Like, Elon. Like elephant. Elon. Okay, cool. Damn it, I so, got it. All right, yeah, Elon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half, act, half my family called me Elon. Okay, so okay. Yeah, yeah, nah, I'm used to I'm the guy that acts, Elon. Yeah. Oh, good, um, it's, Hollywood is changing. The face of Hollywood is, is changing now when you see the success of the Michael B. Jordans or the Chadwick Bo- Bozeman's or the 
Donald Glover's or uh, most recently my high school classmate Boots Riley, oh. who just wrote, wow. wrote, yeah, that, we, him and I went to high school together. Wow. Okay, cool. Yeah, junior high, the whole, we grew up in the same neighborhood. Um, mm-hmm. How is, like, wh- how, what is that, because ex- you're, you're one of those, now you're rising, you're a rising star. I, mm-hmm. I put you in that same category, you know. Um, how is Hollywood changing right now when it comes to black Hollywood? I mean, it's great, man. You know, I was talk, talking about this the other day. Like, it's, it's, for, it's it's interesting that it's revelational that the yeah. heroes these days look like us right here. But mm-hmm. you know, for me growing up, everybody that I knew, like my mom, my grandma, my my, my aunt, these were people of, of of color. And so to see these people take on the faces of heroes and heroines, that's that's uh, it. It's normal in my world, but it's mm-hmm. good for everybody else to see just how uh, how great we could be. Yeah, you know, um, you know that's. It's good, and it's also good to you know be be mentioned in that canon, and you know, mm. you looking forward. So yeah, you you play Daniel on, on Insecure, and I, I was telling him Mike Muse when when he walked. In, Daniel reminds me of myself. I'm from Cali when I was younger. Mm-hmm. You okay. know, guy that's into music. You don't Daniel don't. He's not really a hoe to me. <laughs> nah, he don't he don't <laughs> mess about. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't me- he doesn't mess about right. uh, when when it comes to that. What is it like working on that set though? It's just it's something totally new. The story that's being told is totally new to Hollywood. But to me, that's that's L.A. Yeah, it is, bro. Like it's it's like a love. Of, I'm, I'm, I haven't been in L.A. too long, but I'm learning a lot about L.A. through there. And just as far as like the the content, I feel like being a part of Insecure. It's like. I, having an older sister mm-hmm. and um you know she would have like you know slumber parties with her, with her girlfriends or whatnot and you just could like sit down and like listen to what they talking about and something like that that's like what insecure is for me i'm learning a lot about relationships i'm learning about what not to do what to do uh-huh. and it's it's just very i don't know it's i think it's helping me grow yeah. as, a, as a relationship you, you in yeah. a relationship I mean, you know, I'm, I'm working right now. I'm trying to just, <laughs> just you know, I'm just out here, just you know, ha- trying to have a good time. Next Somebody question: and have, a, have a real dynamic <laughs> life experience. Somebody at home watching this upset. Yeah, that's really what I'm about right now. <laughs> nah, you well, know. Was that a yes or no? Though? I didn't get that. No. Claim yeah. her. Okay. Yeah. Hey, 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 Eli. <laughs> what up, new? <laughs> Is it Tracy? <laughs> Shit. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. I see it. Like, yeah, like go easy, Mike. Go easy, easy, baby. <laughs> that's because he's a nuke right there. Uh, yeah. That's my frat brother in the Shout room, member of Capital Cypher Tergy Incorporated. Uh, what up, Nuke? That's, that's, that's how we do. Yeah. Uh, but Eli, with that being said, though, uh, we know that hip hop is one of the most consumed genres of music right now. Uh, Ryan Kruger gave Black Twitter a shout out at the BET Awards, and we're seeing like these movies that are driven by black characters and are consumed by the masses. And kind of Black Hollywood, what Sway was alluding to, do you guys feel the pressure now, or do you guys feel free and liberated to keep telling these unapologetic stories? No knowing that the masses are latching on to it as well. I feel like it's a privilege. Um, definitely when I got this role for the first purge, like I felt the pressure. I felt the privilege, but I also felt the burden of like representation. Like that's important that we get it right, that we tell the story in an authentic way, in a way that's nuanced. Because a lot of times you see the stories told in ways that we're kind of like, I don't know if we would necessarily do that in that type of type of circumstance. And I think right. with the purge, we 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 capture a lot of how one how we will respond mm-hmm. in these type type of circumstances. So, yeah, I want to go back. I'm, I spent ten years in Southside Jamaica Queens, and I plan on spending my summer there this year. So, like, I want to be able to go back to the block and be, you know, just be. Not be egged when I'm trying to chase the ice cream truck. I want to be, I want to be able to be relaxed. And, mm-hmm. and and if we don't, you know, if we, I feel like if we don't step up to to the to the to um you know represent represent in the correct way, then mm-hmm. you know that's the missed opportunity. How do you feel about that, Lex? It's a balance because yeah. um it's, it's like an in between mm-hmm. because yes, while it is free and liberating, our people are so hard on our people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we put each other, we hold each other on high standards. If you make it to that level up there that seems unattainable, then you better do something with it and you better shine and do it right because mm-hmm. you represent. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's still, it's like, yes, we finally here and it is free and, and liberating and we can tell our own stories and we have great writing that support the true ethnicity and a true culture um, of, of any minority, in my opinion, not just, not just the black community. The writing has definitely evolved, but... But um, yeah, it's it's 
It's, you can, it's added pressure from our own just to uh, just to succeed and just do it well and do it well, do it right. You guys yes. got it. You got it down pat. Don't worry, y'all got it though, yes, man. Y'all, that's they why do. we're here today. <laughs> yes. All right, Lex Scott they Davis is here. Elon Noel is here. You want to talk with him? Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. We're gonna break down this first purge even more. Shwain, the morning. The first purge is in theaters July 4th. Make sure you check it out. We got Elon Noel here. You may know him as Daniel from Insecure. He's done a lot of other uh, projects as well, but that's that, that's the one right there. That, that's my homie. Lex Scott Davis. Um, you saw her in uh, Tony Braxton on uh, Break My Heart. Uh, she played Tony Braxton. Uh, did an excellent job right there. Thanks, can you sir. sing um, at all? No. <laughs> great. I can yeah. hum really good. You're a great hummer. I can hum. But okay. the minute I try to put words on it, it, just, it gets it's It'll come out it's right. a little weird. <laughs> yeah. It's a little cracked. Come what you mean, though? That's Mike. Mike, oh, okay. I, know, I said it'll come out right. It'll yeah, come it'll out right, right when she starts to hum. What else do do? do I was her hype man. Like you guys only act. I mean, do you, outside of acting, like do you ball or? All right. Was that stereotype? That is stereotype. Yeah, stereotype. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do you make Kool Aid? You're self aware, <laughs> right? You guys eat fried chicken. Uh, <laughs> now you write. Yeah. You write. Yeah, right. I uh yeah yeah that's what I do. I write and I act. I'm focusing on acting right now though for sure. Okay. You got uh, siblings. What's your I family? do. Yeah. What's yeah, your family it's, like? It's um, it's it's all together five of us. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. I was. I grew up in Atlanta, in Georgia. Okay. Stone Mountain, Georgia, and Southside Jamaica, Queens. Shout out there. Um. Yeah. 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 Was your family like um surprised that you wanted to pursue entertainment, or like not even surprised? Were they yeah. hesitant about letting you? My mom was always open minded. Like I, she never had an opinion on anything that I, I, I did. She was just always just like, okay, you know, if that's what you want to do, do it. But yeah, nobody from where I'm from or anything, I don't know anybody in the industry. I never, I barely watched movies as as growing up. So it was, it was almost a surprise to me that I wanted to do something like that. Cause I'm mm. just as who I am. I'm, I was always shy. Uh -huh. Like I was always just like kind of like introverted and I kept to myself. So the idea of acting was wild, but I think it just came as a challenge to me to say, OK, cool. Let me see what is on the opposite opposite side of this fear. Like right. how how can I sort of take control of this thing that's like affecting me in this way where I, I feel like I can't even play ball at the gym because uh -huh. like, you know, the girls is watching or like it, it was like a real <laughs> paralyzing thing for me growing up to like be in front of people wow and you conquered it yeah look at that yeah, right? i mean like, conquer is a strong word like it's act with acting at least you get to have on the mask of the character okay mm -hmm. like you get to talk you get to be somebody else and you can sort of channel your experience and your emotion into that 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 person but like like this for instance like we talk about oh, siblings i said oh, I felt like, oh yeah. i'm like we're talking <laughs> I know, about me but that's what i'm noticing that right <laughs> yeah, you're like yeah. you got a little apprehension yeah. about diving in yeah, where, Le where lex is like yeah t what does what you want to know yeah you know? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i mean you know and it's and it's definitely something that um you know i'm just rub rubbing up against but it's it's cool we, we, we with us right now so yeah, you're it's, good it's, you're in good hands love. man love, what man. about you lex what made you want to go this route acting is hard it's a lot it's of rejection it's more rejection yeah. yeah. Then it is, you know, uh, acceptance when it comes to that's that. That's true. Right? That's true. Yeah. Um, I grew up dancing um, amongst other extracurricular activities my parents put me in. But dance was a thing that I stuck with since I was a toddler on to college. So I was a dance major and um, in Philly. <clears throat> and I dropped out my third year in because what I found was that I didn't feel I was – growing and developing as a as a more technical person you know dancing is it's a lot of physicality and you're judged on you know how many pirouettes you can do you're judged on if your foot can has a nice arch versus you know you're more flat-footed or if your leg can't go behind you know you're judged on all of these things that if you're not built that way mm -hmm. it's okay and I think a lot of dancers um, grew up being so hard on themselves because they weren't fitting into the idea of what makes a great dancer. Mm -hmm. So I kind of started getting this like resistant mindset about um, the the technical element of it because I was doing ballet and modern. Mm -hmm. um, also, understanding that 
it's I mean it, it, you reach a cap I in my opinion I hate to offend any of the dancers that are listening because I still have a lot of love for their for their art form but after a certain point you your goal is to be on tour but then after you're on tour then then what mm. then what's yeah. the next goal yeah do you go back home and become a teacher mm -hmm. do you become a choreographer you know it didn't really feel like I had a life past 25 mm -hmm. with being a dancer and I knew that I wanted to perform forever yeah. so what can I do to make sure that happens and that is acting That's because right. they will always need an 80 year old black lady to come play your grandma uh -huh. <laughs> there it is you know yeah. it, you can yeah. literally do this to the day you die to the day you die I like yeah. that man um, Elon Noel Lex Scott Davis on uh, the first purge in theaters July 4th we got Carbon on the line is it Corbin <laughs> Corbin. Corbin, yeah, yeah, Corbin. From Decatur, Georgia. Go ahead, man. Say what's up. Hey. Okay. What's up? What's up, Elon? What's going on, dog? So I went to Cat Panther Alumni 2005. What? How you That's feeling, crazy. bro? That's <laughs> crazy. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I was at Cat, man. Yeah, I know. I, I, I realized it when I saw your intro. I said, man, don't I know that nigga? Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. right bro. <laughs> That's I was like, I texted Ivory. I was like, I said, Ivory, do you know this dude? Oh, uh, uh, he texts Ivory? That's crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, I'm like, I said, this man a man. I said, nigga, if he made it, I made it too. There we go. Like, there it is. Ah, respect, yeah. man. Hey, respect. what was he like in high school? Hey, tell him. <laughs> tell him. For... Like, he was quiet. I mean, I didn't really, like, really talk to him because he was just a quiet dude, smart dude, and magnet. That's all I really know. I was Mr. Like... Self was the cab, too, though. You remember uh, that? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. All the Don't girls you... liked you, though. Oh, okay. Well, you know. All the girls yeah, man, liked him. Okay. All the girls like them. Ow. I mean, okay. it's pretty boy. Ow. All the pretty boy. You know what I'm saying? We well, y'all well, 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 in Atlanta. I'm sure a few guys liked them too, right? Hey. 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 my favorite. <laughs> 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 Nah, son, I don't know nothing about that. All right, man. All right, You got to dignify that. <laughs> you, did, you did call in this morning. All right, you're a citizen, brother. All right, we got uh, Waverly Jones from Buffalo on the line. What up, Waverly? Hey, boo. Hey, Waverly. What's going on, Sway, man? What's going on, morning? You know what I mean? Morning crew. What's, What's going on? What's happening? Yeah, I, I just had a uh, quick question for the, you know, the cast. Um, they shot a couple of scenes in Buffalo, New York. You know what I mean? How was that experience, you know, shooting up here? Max, you want to take that? We shot the entire film up there, actually. Um, a lot of it happened oh, overnight. Mm -hmm. And I felt so bad for, you know, because we were on the street with firecrackers right. and guns and bikes. And we were making so much noise at like three mm -hmm. in the morning. So I've <laughs> in residential areas. Yeah, I actually rolled past. I, I actually rolled past and seen y'all filming one night. And that was, that was pretty dope. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was cool. Um, I actually never been to Buffalo. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I don't know about, have you been to Buffalo? No, I've never been. And <clears throat> I, when we heard we were shooting in New York, I got really excited because I'm thinking we're coming here. Right. And then when we got there. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> yeah, well, right. And no shade to you, sir, on the phone. But um, it's, it's, not, it's not quite the New York we knew. And so it actually right. served as the perfect backdrop for a horror film because it was something very eerie about the nights there. Especially um, downtown. Down, yeah, we had hotels oh, downtown, and mm -hmm. so at you know as soon as sundown, the streets were like vacant. I went outside to walk around, mm -hmm. and it, you feel yeah, there was yeah. nobody. It might be one other soul walking up the street, and it was like soul even right? the word the soul, soul. Yeah. not even a body soul approaching, yeah, just some emerging. Mist. Yeah, that, so it was that, interesting. That laid that laid a good backdrop for what this the plot of the movie is Absolutely. all about, right? Can you break down the plot and 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 what it's all? About? Who are the NFFA? Um, so the NFFA mm -hmm. are Basically, in this purge, in this fictional purge world, they are the government. They are the man. The new founding fathers. The new founding fathers. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and they have put this system in place. Um, and who, who, whoever has already seen the other purges, you know what that is. It's 12 hours of um, where all crime is legal. And in this version um our film the first purge is the prequel so what you are learning is how the nffa even like this whole how, national how came. holiday came about and mm -hmm. how and, and where they experimented it on and who they experimented on right. okay and so how, how how it how would how would we would be able to stick like you know uh -huh. it takes you it's the inception so it takes you to like who was if who was affected and and why you know? yeah was yeah. it a form of population control Towards I a mean, certain so the NFFA, they they implemented under the guise 
that for the rest of the 364 days of the year, if they allow people to sort of purge these baser instincts that they have, uh -huh. that that would keep the crime level under 1%. Mm -hmm. So that's the overarching uh -huh. uh, intentions That's of what it. Purge 1 to 3 yeah. told us. Told yes. us. Now, yeah. but in this one, right, right. we're actually finding out what really was what really happened the conversation that and happened the souls in the office. who uh were, were compromised by yes. this type of thing yes Whoa, yeah cool. can, you, can, can you let us in on that yeah. i just like i don't want to give it away yeah, yeah. i don't want to give it away yeah, I mean, you have to go see it know, of july okay a part of a good suspense is you know yeah. not yeah. to give it away yeah, but like that's that's, that's, <laughs> that's yeah. it i mean it answers the question like, yeah. a lot of the curiosity that the the fans of the perch have had for such a long time it's just like you know what is this thing like yeah. how i mean come on like 12 hours of legalized mayhem that's crazy like what what would you do so if, yeah. if, uh, well, if there was a lead straight towards the banks yeah. to the banks yeah, well, so you were going to, you would you would purge you you, no, would, be, I would, definitely but you purge. would try to get that, that the, money. I, I wouldn't kill anybody i'm not interested in that no, right there's not. a character yeah, nah. in this you would relate to Really? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, like why, they, I wish they could have asked me to play them. <laughs> <laughs> and they asked me to play them. First five. <laughs> I, I went to the screening, and I, I wanted to ask you guys about a, a specific moment because uh, your character is kind of like the Nino Brown of Staten Island, which is where the, the movie takes place in Staten Island. Staten and Island. Then, which we also shot in, we shot in Staten yeah, Island. Yeah, there are some scenes that, that do show like yeah. uh, certain like bridges and things like that. Yeah. So you're you're kind of like the neighborhood drug dealer, uh, kingpin guy, and then you're like the, the activist for the community that's, that's trying to get people to not sign up for the purge, even though some of them, they're, they're so strapped for cash, and that's why they do it. But there's a moment in the film that a lot of people in the theater even were kind of like, wow, where you told him, you, you said, you know, this purge is, is 12 hours, but you're you're killing our community 365 days or, th or the rest of the year. Yeah. You know what mm. I mean? And a lot of people thought about that, like, wow, that is true. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, we're we're judging the government for allowing us to kill people, but yet the drugs and, and the gang violence and, cr you know, crime is, the issue. is all around in, in every right. day. So, yeah. I mean, when... Did you think about that when, when you heard that line? I mean, absolutely. was absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We had that scene um, was actually part of our audition process. So even before getting there, we both had a lot of time with with that conversation, trying to develop it and understand, you know, what the the deeper meaning to it. So I'm actually glad that you really heard it because that I think sums up their whole. Um, why they clash because of course ultimately they want the same thing in this story they want to protect their community um, you see him with the the young athletes and you know he he definitely wants to be an example but we just have two different ways about getting there yeah. mm. I mean without that conversation having happened in the film I, I doubt I would have done it it, it needed to have yes. that uh the other mm. side of the other coin because otherwise you know we we we, we play in stereotypes and mm -hmm. nobody's addressing the circumstances surrounding the issue so like that had to have happened and for me that was the most i mean that day in particular when we were shooting like that was the the most invested a lot of action there's a lot of fun day. things that happened throughout the film but like that particular scene i was just like really in my head in the closet just really thinking about it because it needed to be it's it's, it's a glue it's the glue for everything and it yeah. needed to feel um because you can point the finger at everybody the nffa and the people that are behind the purge with but you can't not accountability point the finger at you, yourself. Gotta, accountability. you gotta have yeah. accountability and naya the character lex plays it was is the voice of reason um you know and, and reflects the attitudes of, of a lot of people out here you know who we know we all know naya's well, reflects yeah. my my attitude yeah yeah mean so, my team you know? yeah so yeah um yeah. more reason to watch the movie Okay, so make sure you check it out. The first purge on uh, July 4th. Lex Scott Davis, uh, it's an absolute joy to have you on the show this yes. morning. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely, and I'll see you later on. Yes. We got more work to do. <laughs> All right, uh, El Elon Noel. My brother. Man, you keep going, bro. Show, keep man. going, Thank man. You. We don't buy that shy thing, by the way, but you, if you want to sell it. It's love, it's love. It's, it's love? love? Okay, cool. Black.